today let's take up retirement of partner and uh, let's do adjustment of capitals in this now in many cases when the partner des uh, when the partner retires the retiring partners may decide to adjust their capital in proportion to their new profit sharing ratio so here there is a case of adjustment of capitals fine and when the capitals are going to be adjusted there can be two cases there can be two um, possibilities a deficit or a surplus right so some partners may have to bring in more capital to adjust their deficit or the case can be a surplus when the excess capital has to be withdrawn by a partner fine so in adjustment of capitals we are going to look at three cases so first of all i'll take up the first case today the first case is when the total capital of the new firm is given right so here the first one when the total capital of the new firm is given then how do we arrive at the adjusted capital right so here i'll write down the steps first of all you need to find out the present capital of the continuing partners right so um, prepare the capital accounts and find out the present capital present capital of the remaining partners or continuing partners right after making all the adjustments right second step is the new capital of the firm is given right so here you will find out the new capital of the new part of the uh, continuing remaining partners in their new profit sharing ratio in their new profit sharing ratio right so this has to be found out right calculate this fine then once this is done after this you have to compare the present capital that is the one that you arrive at at step 1 with the new capital that you get in step 2 fine so you see here if the new capital is more than the present capital present capital then the partner has to bring in cash right partner has to bring in more cash to increase his capital right partner has to bring cash to adjust the deficit 
so here the journal entry will be cash account debit to the concerned partners capital account right okay so to partners capital account fine the other case can be when the new capital is less than the present capital in that case the partner has to be paid cash the partner has to be given back or the company has to pay him paid cash right so here it will be partners capital account debit that particular partner right okay partners capital account debit to cash account or bank account whatever right okay hmm. so uh, this is what needs to be done in order to find out the new uh, cap the adjusted capital of the partners after a partner retires right so now i'm going to take up a small question to show you how this is to be done right i'm taking up only the case to show you the adjustment i'm not taking up a comprehensive uh, question here right so here let's see how the adjustment needs to be done i'll uh, give yeah, i'll put up a small question here let's say this is the question there are three partners let's say amit Sumit and Dayal, right? They are the three partners. And let me put it this way: old, uh, profit sharing ratio is four is to two is to one, right? And here, Sumit retires. Sumit retires the capital of the newly constituted firm after the retirement after retirement of sumit is 35000 is given as 35000 and uh, the adjusted capitals of the three partners is given like this amit is 30000 Sumit is ten thousand, and Dayal is five thousand nine hundred. Right. Now we have to find out the adjusted capitals here. Right. The capital of the newly constituted firm is given as this, this one. Right. And um, this is the profit sharing ratio fine now here you see sumit retires that means the new profit sharing ratio is going to be 4 is to 1 right they have not given anything so it's 4 is to 1 here because this uh, sumit the partner is retiring so that is 4 is to 1 so let's look at it now this way the new capital is equal to 35000 right and the new ratio 
is uh, equal to 4 is to 1. Fine, okay. So, uh, this is uh, the first partner, Amit and Dayal. So, Amit retires, right? So, here I'll put Amit's new capital will be equal to 35,000 into 4 by 5, right? So, that is 28,000, fine. Dayal's new capital will be equal to 35,000 into 1 by 5. So that is equal to 7,000. Fine. Now, here itself I will put, right, their adjusted capital for Amit, it is 30,000. For Dayal, it is 5,900, right? So, here let me write. Adjusted capital for Amit is 30,000. And for Dayal, it is 5,900, okay? So, now here you see, the new capital of Amit is less, right? Whereas the adjusted capital is more. So, let's first of all write the journal entry for this, uh, for the adjustment for this partner Amit, right? The new partner, uh, sorry, the new capital is lesser than the adjusted capital. So, here it will be Amit's capital account, Amit's capital account debit to cash because he has to be paid cash to cash account fine this is uh, the difference is 2000 rupees right so this is his surplus basically which has to be given back to him right okay now look at this, Dayal's new capital is 7000, whereas his adjusted capital is only 5900. So, here there is a difference of 1100 rupees. 7000 minus 5900, right? So, he has to bring in this much amount to make his capital equal to 7000. So, here this partner has to bring in cash. So, this will be cash account debit to... Dayal's capital account. Fine. And the amount will be 1100. Fine. So, this is what we are supposed to do. Here, uh, since I have taken a question just to show you the uh, calculation of the adjusted capital, here I have shown you that uh, this is the adjusted capital which I have shown you here. This is uh, this one. But when you get a complete question, then obviously you will have to find out the adjusted capitals by preparing the capital accounts. So, this adjusted capital you will get once you prepare the capital accounts. And the new capital of the firm will be given in the question. This you have to distribute according to the new ratio and then find out whether it is a deficit or a surplus and accordingly make the journal entries. So, here when the partner has to bring in cash, like in the second case, when the partner has to bring in cash, in that case it will come as buy cash account in your capital account, right? And if the partner has to be paid back cash, then it will come as to cash account, right? So, with that, I come to the end of this session and in my next session, I will take up the second case. I will tell you the adjustment of capital in the second case where the total capital of the new firm is not given, right? So, with that, I end this session. Bye.